Attention Helldivers! Are you tired of struggling to call in your stratagems while the bugs close in? Fear not! We have the solution you need to turn the tide of battle with ease. Say goodbye to the chaos of manual calls. With our revolutionary technology, managed democracy is just a button away. Join us, and together we'll pave the way to freedom and democracy on the outer planets. Hello and welcome to this video about Helldivers. In this one I want to take a look at a couple of ways to make your stratagems a whole lot faster. If you want to skip ahead to the part where I talk about how to set up macros, feel free. There should be some chapter points that you can take a look at in the video right below. Uh, but first off, what we're going to do is we're going to change to trivial mode on some bugs somewhere and uh, load in by yourself. So let's do that. We can also go into our settings. We can go to options and turn off public play to make sure that we're going to be alone. So let's go ahead and apply that by hitting tab and let's hop in. All the galaxy looks to you for salvation. Okay, so when we take a look at our options here, we go to mouse and keyboard and we change our bindings. We're going to find our stratagems in here. All right, so here's our stratagems. The first thing we want to do is we want to change our stratagem to press control or press whatever it is you want to uh, turn it on instead of holding. That's going to help us to be able to do it while we run. And then don't worry about these numbers quite yet. I will explain that. But for right now, um, the way this is normally set up is WASD. So now we have that set up. And so we'll go ahead and, uh, and leave this menu. So now we have our WASD normal stratagem set up and how we would normally do that uh, would actually make it so we can't move. So that is the default way to do it and it can cause you a lot of trouble. So as you can see, when I want to call a stratagem in, I have to stop and then I've got to do what I want to do and then we got it, right? And that can get us killed quite a lot. So of course, the first thing people end up doing is they go in here and they change this. Uh, let's see, mouse and keyboard, bindings, they end up changing this to up, down, left, right with your keyboard, uh, with your uh, directions. So let's do that. So now that we have that set up, now we could go ahead and hit control. We can keep running. We can take our hand off of our mouse and we can do our stratagem, which is great. That is a big improvement. Clearly, we can keep running and we can do that. But the one thing I don't like is, of course, we've taken our hand off of our mouse. Pretty much any PC game, you usually don't want to take your hand off your mouse and keyboard. It's just a little bit cumbersome. You generally want to keep one hand on each device the whole time. So let's go ahead and uh, put that away. And I want to show you what I've done. So what I've done is I've actually moved uh, the stratagems to my mouse because I've got a, a MOBA or a uh, MMO mouse uh, with a lot of buttons. So for me, I've put my stratagems on my mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and change that now. Okay, so this looks pretty crazy because it's a bunch of numbers, but don't worry about it. It corresponds to buttons on my mouse that make sense for me. And if you have any way to do something like this that's easy for you to remember, then great. If you don't have a way to do this, don't worry. Just keep it on your on your uh, your keyboard. You'll do just fine. But what this lets me do is once I have these uh, changes saved, now I can actually keep both of my hands where they are. I can open my stratagems. And I can keep running and moving my mouse around, looking at things while I call down my stratagems. I never have to move my hand back to my mouse or anything like that, so that is even better. We can add macros in order to call down our stratagems. The main thing here is that we can only do it with preset stratagems that we already have macros for. So if you all want to create a new one, you're of course going to have to create a new stratagem for it, a new macro for that stratagem, and that will be uh, a little bit... Uh, daunting if you have to do it for a lot of different stratagems. So this mostly works well if you have a set of stratagems that you often use that are quite long and cumbersome to put in. So for me, I have, you know, these ones that are pretty big, so I can call them in pretty quickly by doing this. And how I'm doing that is by having a bunch of macros set to buttons on my mouse. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like. So what we need to do is open up our macro software, whatever that might be. For me, it's Razer because I have a Razer mouse, but it could be Logitech or Corsair or whoever else. Most of them have some kind of utility that comes with your hardware that will let you set up macros. And I'm sure there's also third party stuff on the interweb on the interwebs uh, that will let you make macros as well. For me, all I need to do is open up my macros on Razer. So I just go into macro. 
I'll open up my stratagems in game so I can have a look. And then we can just add a macro for anyone that we want uh, by simply creating the macro, putting in a delay. Um, one thing to keep in mind is you can't do no delay. It will be too fast for the game and it just won't work. So I recommend something like 0 0.05 to keep it nice and quick, but still often does work. Uh, and then we're going to hit record and we're just going to put in whatever that is for us. So you could use your arrow keys here. Of course, mine are numbers. Don't worry about it though. Just do your arrow keys. And then I hit stop. And now we have that saved. We would save this as whatever it was we did. So let's say it's the laser. And I think I already have a laser. So I'm just going to call this laser too. So I don't get confused. We would take that, go over to our mouse or our keyboard, wherever we're going to have it. And we just set them up. So now when I want it to happen, I just go ahead and tell it to do machine gun and it automatically does the code for machine gun or Gatling or mini nuke or laser, any of those things. Then of course, on the top of the mouse, I have revive and resupply and nice easy spots to get to so that I can do those things very quickly in game, like a resupply. There we go. Now, this could be called cheating. I mean, it is a PVE game. I think you should do whatever is fun for you. Um, but for me, uh, it was just getting a little tedious, and uh, I wanted to see if I could do it faster. So this was kind of fun. <clears throat> if you liked it, hit like. If you want to subscribe, do that, and we'll see you in the next one. Greybeard, out.